Hello everyone, welcome to Max I Can Do with Teacher Kevin. And with our great tips, I'm sure you can overcome any maths obstacles that you face in no time at all. Today, you'll be watching a video conferencing lesson on the topic of ratio. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the lesson. Uh, okay, people. We are going to do this preliminary uh, PSLE question from Henry Park School, question 10, and this is Perim 2020, 2020. Okay, before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the uh, hard work of the Henry Park Maths Department teacher to go into setting um, challenging questions to stimulate the uh, minds of a student. Well done, do keep up uh, the good work, do create more questions like that, okay, so that the uh, students can learn better. Okay, so let's begin. At Candyland, chocolates are sold in packets of five pieces and lollipops are sold in packets of four pieces at the prices shown below. Well, it means that chocolate, you can only buy five pieces, no other way, no odd pieces that you can buy. And every five pieces, it requires you to pay $1.99. Okay, the way you buy lollipops is, you can buy them in four pieces. No odd pieces to be sold to you. You cannot buy one piece, two piece, but you must buy them in four, and four pieces cost 0 0.99 cents okay so the first way to do first step to solve problem is to really understand the question you can't fight an enemy when you don't understand them right okay so she spends a total of 101 dollars and 34 cents on some chocolates and lollipops at this candy land now here is the new requirement i think this requirement uh, is very important in the sense that she put all the chocolates and lollipops into bags such that um, each bag must have there you go let me drag it down for you the bags uh, must be in this manner okay whereby the chocolates must be placed here, chocolates and lollipops must be placed in the bag such that there were three pieces of chocolate and two sticks of lollipop in each bag. That means each bag you must have, uh, for example, this green one is a bag, um, chocolate, you must have three pieces. Let me just copy this down. Chocolates, you must have three pieces. Okay, one. There you go, chocolate, yeah, yeah. Chocolate must three pieces, chop it up. Inside the bag, it must be uh, in this manner. Chocolates, three pieces, and lollipops, two pieces. Hmm. See that, yeah, lollipops. Two pieces. Okay, lollipops, two pieces, chocolates, three pieces. Here we go. Let me write it down. Chocolate must be in inside the bag, three pieces. Whereas lollipop, two pieces. Now, this is a very important criteria because it determines how much we need to buy because we want to put them in the bag in this ratio. Okay? This ratio is, uh, is our determinant. It, it, it holds like the whole idea of the question because you must put chocolates in three and lollipops in two, all right? So, well, the thing is, if you look at our chocolate, we can uh, buy them only in five pieces. So we need three and five. It's like uh, we need to find a 
common multiple of three and five. Because in ratio, the first thing we can try is, well, three times five. So that we have 15 pieces. Well, 15 pieces, I'm sure. 15 pieces of chocolate, I'm sure you can put into packs of three. Yeah? Uh, but then, in terms of ratio, when I multiply the three by five, I have to multiply the two by five. And I will have 10 pieces of lollipops. That is cool. It is still in the ratio of 3, 15 divided by 10. It is in the ratio of 3 is to 2. We have maintained this uh, ratio for the bags. But then there's a little bit of problem. Here is the problem. 15, yes, uh, 5 pieces. There you go. Let me show you. 5 pieces. And I buy 15 pieces. There's no problem. Uh, means you buy three boxes. But then, to maintain the ratio, I need to buy 10 pieces. Here is the problem. You have four sticks. You buy two boxes, eight. You can't buy 10 pieces. So this number is no good. So uh, next thing, maybe I have to multiply it to make it to times 10. Ratio times 10. All right. So times 10. Well, that means I need to buy in like 30 pieces of chocolates. A ratio, well, in that case, uh, the chocolates times 10, the lollipops needs to times 10 as well to maintain the same ratio. Ah, we have something going here because it means that whenever I buy 30 pieces of chocolate, I will have to buy 20 pieces of lollipop. Here is bingo. We have hit jackpot because 30 pieces can divide by 5. Right? Which means that we have to five pieces in a box. Right? So that means if you divide, we need to buy six boxes of chocolates. And 20. Fortunately, unlike before, we cannot divide by uh, 10, cannot be divided by 4. 20 can be divided by 4, meaning we have to buy 5 boxes. Uh -huh. So when we buy in this manner, we would be able to put the chocolates and the lollipops in the ratio of 3 is to 2, right? Okay, so 6 boxes of Chocolate will cost how much? Each box of chocolate costs 1.99. All right, six boxes of chocolate cost 1.99 each, and five boxes of lollipop at 0 0.99 each. So we have to find the total. In this case, um, this one will work out to be. 11.94. That means you buy six boxes of chocolates at 11.94 will give you 30 pieces. And you buy this one, five boxes of lollipop times 0.99, you get $4.95. That means $4.95, you can buy five boxes of lollipops, which will give you 20 pieces. All right? And this is considered as like one set. Let me see. I'll put in purple color. This is in one set. One set, repeat, you get 30 pieces of chocolate and 20 pieces of lollipop which you can pack in bags of threes and twos. Okay, um, yeah. But you have to pay for six boxes of chocolate at, for, at five pieces each in each box for 11.94 cents. And in order to get 20 pieces of lollipop, you have to buy five boxes because there are four pieces in each box and you have paid 0 0.99 each, a total of $4.95. You add them together, one set of this will cost, uh, in one set of this, 
well, maybe I write uh, clearly for you six boxes of chocolate. Okay. Uh, one set of six boxes of chocolate and you buy five boxes of lollipop. Okay, what you get, you will get uh, 30 pieces of chocolate and you get 20 pieces of lollipop which you can maintain the ratio to put in a bag. But because of that, you have to pay a total of 11.94, uh, which is six boxes of chocolate plus 4.95, which is uh, four boxes of lollipop, making a total of uh, 16. Point eighty nine for every set of 30 pieces of chocolate and 20 pieces of lollipop. Okay, lollipop here, chocolate here. Uh -huh. Then, uh, not forgetting, she paid a total of here, here, here. Paper total of 10134. Yeah, so okay, I'm going to write this number here. One zero. One, one, zero, one point three four. Then we divide by how many sets of money? One set of this cost sixteen dollars and eighty nine cents. The number looks a bit awkward, but hey, we got a calculator not to fear. I hope you divide this and you'll get a nice number. Uh, let me do it here. One zero one. Point three four divided by sixteen point eighty nine. Okay, you get a six, a nice whole number. That means you buy, you can buy here one set. Cost sixteen something. So your total money divide by one set, you get six six. That means you get six sets, six sets of this all right so in six sets what do you have one set uh what the question was how many sticks of lollipop so in one set we can see that they are 20 uh here here okay in one set they are 20 yeah in one set there in one set uh which i explained just now you get uh 20 pieces of lollipop well, so you have six sets. So finally, in six sets, in that case, you just, um, yeah, you just times 20 uh, because one set, you have 20, six sets, you times 20. Yeah, here, people, one set, just in case you not know what I'm talking about, one set, you get 20 pieces of lollipop. So since this money divided, uh, you get six sets, so you buy 120 lollipops. That should be your answer. L O L L I P O P S. Okay, so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, this is quite a unique question in the sense that you don't see them often. So, uh, people just before you practice for your PSLE. Uh, try out this kind of question just in case it come out. Like I said, thank you and acknowledgement to the hard work effort of the uh, maths department teachers in the Henry Park. Thank you for coming up with such question, um, which is like uh, quite unique in a sense, all right, to stimulate uh, the students' mind. Okay, that'll be all. We hope that, uh, yeah, you all enjoyed this. Um, the video and do subscribe, share, and let your friends know about it. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Please give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And for more great tips like this, make sure to watch Maths I Can Do.